called the internet. You need to understand it's the greatest thing ever, but you need to know what's the difference between good stuff and crap. My stuff is good stuff. It's based on, this is based on epigenetics, twin studies, where there's actually two identical twins where one ends up fat, one smaller, one ends up um, gay, one ends up straight. And they never thought that was possible. They thought genetics was such a big thing, but we now know environment changes everything. And as Mark said, you being critical people in kids' lives can actually help people who have been born into a bad family. Imagine when I walk in with a real group of year 10s and we're in high school and I go, Hi, I'm Jenny. Who's got a crappy parents? Who's got shitty parents? And like kids go, I go, some of us have. Some people it happens to. And for the first time ever, it's not your fault how you're feeling. So let's do something about it. Because otherwise kids get told there's no such thing as luck. Now you might have seen there is such a thing as luck. And we need to actually acknowledge that. And coaches keep killing people. So who you are, an eel or a tigger, it doesn't matter. You are both great people. But the thing is how you think about things, how you feel about things, and how you react are two different ways. And I'm going to get you, let you into the world of my world. This is tigger thinking. What an important event. I played well. I knew I would. I'm really capable. Confident pride, afterwards walk tall, might be humble, might be a bit arrogant. Generally celebrating and after I win, you will find me doing one of two things. Dancing like an idiot, I don't drink, but I everyone thinks I'm drunk because I'm having the best time ever. Or sitting down going, that was so hard, but that was so good. All right, this is a lot of tickets. Welcome to my world. We'll need to win an important game. I will play well, I know I can, I'm really confident. Excitement, anticipation, wants the attention, walks tall, talks. I don't have a dry mouth, so I can talk, and most of all, I get good butterflies before a game. Now, this is luck. I lucked into an optimistic mother that you wouldn't believe. You know, like she thought the golf hole was this big. Really important. It coloured how I felt about myself and how I felt about mistakes and what I would do. Eels, equally good people, again, but they win an important game. Oh, my opponent wasn't very good today. I was lucky I only made so many mistakes. Relief, pride, maybe guilt. Walk a little taller, but they also celebrate to feel good about themselves and, in fact, douse some of those voices <coughs> in their head. Douse some of those doubting voices in their head, and they can even be sick from relief if they've had a lot of pressure put on them. Need to win an important game. I hope I play well. I don't want to make too many mistakes. My opponent looks strong. I hope my opponent has a bad day. Fear, dread, helplessness, embarrassment. Look small, hides, can't talk. And the physical sensations they're starting to have are heart racing, dry mouth, cold hands, breathlessness, nervous number ones, nervous number twos, and throwing up. If you look at many of your change rooms, this is happening to so many people. And they get told to harden up. You swallow some cement or things like that, I hear. Um, if you, the worst advice for the worst people who do not get stuff. Now, that's winning. Now let's look at losing an event. 